Hello guys and welcome back to this lesson and in this lesson I'm going to show you that how you can apply advanced styles to your word document and the text that is present inside your work word doc so it's pretty simple I've also demonstrated this in the previous lesson but just for a recap I'm also creating this lesson for your ease so it's really simple you just need to have some text on your word document where over here I have two paragraphs of my text that we, we've been using since the start of this course and to apply styles on this document you simply need to go to the style section over here and you can hover over each of these styles and word automatically shows the preview of how this style will look on your text so you can hover over and it will keep on changing according to the style that you are hovering over and you notice that I have a style named quote that I created in one of my previous lessons and this is the style that I created by myself to show you guys that how you can create a style on Word 2016 so you notice that I've selected this as a code I created a style and gave it the style of code so my text on my Word document is being displayed as a code a block code so how do you apply advanced styles so you need to click this arrow right over here and you get all the styles that are present in Word 2016 and you can see that I have this code also present over here which I have created by my own self in Word 2016 and to create styles we have had to go to manage styles over here to create a style so let's click this over over here and just for a recap I'm doing this for you guys so to create a new style you had to go to this button over here which says new style and over here you get all the styles that you can edit or modify so you can modify the heading one heading tags the title tag the code tag you can also modify your own style that you've created if you want to change the style of your quote that you created in the previous lesson so to modify it you simply need to select this over here and click modify and it will open up a new dialog box with the name of your style your style is based on as normal as a normal paragraph style for the following paragraph was also a normal the font that you chose was Calibri body the font size was 11 let's make it 16 over here you can also change the color let's do it blue and you can also underline the text and make it bold as well so this is how you can easily modify your text in just a few simple steps so let's click OK over here but first before clicking OK I want to show you that how you can format your styles so to format your style right over here you simply need to click this button and it opens up these options that you can select so if you want to modify the font you can simply click over here similarly with the paragraph you want to ma modify this whole you can click over here you, can, you want to modify tabs you want to give it a border you want to change the language frame numbering or assign it a shortcut key and this shortcut key I will demonstrate how you can create shortcut keys for your style while writing an extensive document so it makes easy to give styles to your text present in your document so I will demonstrate this to you in the next lesson that I will create in this course and similarly you can also give the text effects that how should it look like should it be bold and so on so let's click OK over here and to create a new style you simply need to, needed to click the new style button over here give your style a name give your style a type should it be linked t should it be a table should it be a list or a character or a paragraph and then you need to choose a style based on it should be a heading style it should be a normal style it should be a quote it should be a subtitle intense code and there are a tons of styles that you can choose from then you need to choose the font the font size should it be bold italics or underlined and should it be automatic the color that 
comes by default in world 2016 is black but you can also choose more colors and create your own colors as well by clicking this button right over here and you know that you already know that the preview that of the changes that you make over here is shown over here so right now the text will be displayed like this when you apply your style on it and you can also add this style to the gallery automatically update this style and you want it only in this document or the new documents based on this template and you can also format it by simply clicking this button so let's click OK over here and OK over here as well and let's close this and another feature that I want to tell you guys is that how can you view your document so you can view your document in different layouts for example let's go to view tab on your ribbon right over here and to the view section over here so you have three modes in which you can view your document the first one is read mode that how users will see your document and, and if authors are reading your document how will they see your document and notice that on the right bottom corner of your word 2016 you also have these options present over here the read mode the print layout and the web layout and right now my word document is in the print layout view so if I click read mode you notice that the read mode will look like this if someone's reading it he or she or any author will read your document like this if it he or she is not editing your document and in the web layout mode it will be viewed by the author or the user that's reading your document like this so it's pretty cool that how your document will look in front of other users while in web layout or read layout and one more thing that I'm going to tell you about in this particular lesson is about the draft mode so this draft mode is a very powerful feature for example you have an extensive word document and it consists of hundreds of pages with images with tables and with text as well and you need to edit the text only so you can use the draft mode and what draft mode does is that it removes all the tables lists and images from your word document and then it allows you to edit only the text on your document which makes editing much more easier so let's see that how draft mode looks while we have images and tables in our document so let's insert a picture over here let's go to insert insert pictures and let's insert this picture right over here for just demonstration purposes so I'll open this picture up and let's resize this by just hovering my cursor right to this corner of the picture and just dragging it by clicking it and I can also choose the layout the layout options it can be a square it can be tight it can be through the text it can be top and bottom and so on so let's choose square over here and let's resize the picture and let's add more text over here so let's simply copy and paste once more so you can see that I have this picture over here and let's say it's difficult for me to edit when there are pictures present in my word document so to do this I simply need to go to view and click graph mode and notice that boom all the pictures tables and list present on this document have been removed until I go out of draft mode and I can edit my text right over here whatever I need to do if I need to delete this I can easily delete this and so on let's go back to our print layout and you notice that again the images and whatever I have whatever tables list I have on my word document come back so this is how you can easily edit your text on your word document so I hope you enjoy this lesson stay tuned stay focused for more and keep practicing and let's move to our next lesson